Recently, I was browsing the Penelope's website and came across the Clipper LTE 4G breakout board. I bought one to take a look at. I've tried to use 3G breakout boards with the ESP32 in the past to connect to REST APIs and ran into issues with certificates or HTTPS connections, which is a must these days. I've tried using PagerGo SIMs and would run into issues such as the data allowance expiring. And if I didn't use it for a few months, the SIM was disabled. Then you need to contact the provider and get it reactivated. Also, this is an expensive way of getting data. I've found various companies offering IoT SIMs, which are cheaper, but these are meant for large rollouts and can be overly complex for hobbyist use. The Clipper seems to resolve most of these issues. It is a 4G board that comes for a limited time with 100 megabytes of data. You can top up the SIM from Pymeroni's website. You provide the SIM ID or its IP address to identify it. You can't make calls or send SMS, it's data only. There doesn't seem to be any way of monitoring data usage from their website or via an API. It would be amazing to see them provide an API to get this information. You could connect to the API and have the remaining allowance displayed on a small information screen on your project. It would help with remote management and ensuring your project always had enough data whilst in the field. Therefore, you may want to keep track of data usage yourself via code. Otherwise, if you had this rolled out in the field, it could suddenly stop sending sensor data back and you wouldn't know without tracking usage. Clipper has an SPCE connector on board. This means you can connect it easily to any SPC compatible microcontroller or add on using a handy cable. Of course, there's always pads if you prefer to solder wires to it. Paired with a Pimeroni Pico Plus based on the Raspberry Pi Pico 2350, which also has SPCE connector, it really is plug and play. On the Pimeroni's website, they give sample code to get you started. I tried this and was able to get the sample working in minutes and was... Sorry for the interruption. I forgot to leave space for the demonstration, so I've just inserted it here. You can see the clipper and the Pico on the workbench there. Um, you enter the mobile APN into the demo code, uh, which is the iot.1nt.net. That comes on a card with the clipper. Then we just set up the LED light just to show there's some activity. Then we call the LTE uh, library. Uh, the important thing to note here is you have to flash the uh, card with a U2EF. Um, and it's a custom one and it can be a bit uh, awkward to work out which one it is to use. So I will leave a link and some descriptions below to which ones I used. Um, you can see me starting to kick off the uh, connection here. It takes a few seconds, presumably to find a connection to a mobile network. And then once it connects, it goes out, grabs that joke and displays it on the screen, which is what it's doing right now. And then once it's found it, it displays the joke. Uh, a programmer puts two glasses on his bedside table before going to sleep. A full one in case he gets thirsty and an empty one in case he does not. Da -dum -sh. Okay, we will now go back to our regularly, regularly scheduled programming. And sorry for the interruption. I was able to connect to my own API via HTTPS. This was so easy, I am super impressed. This is a very welcome device and it's by far the easiest way to achieve remote connectivity. Thanks for watching until the end of the video and if you have any questions then please leave a comment below or just an emoji to help with engagement thank you don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time